Hi guys, it's Cami from NoBiggie.net and today I'm going to walk you through making one of my favorite appetizers. It's the hot corn dip and I'm going to get you started. So you'll use chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. They come in a small can and here's a tip. When you buy them, you're not going to need the whole can. So I like to chop it all up, remove any skins that might be in there, and then section it out and you can freeze um, small batches so that you can have it on hand whenever you wanna make this. So we're gonna put the chipotle peppers in and then we're gonna add some mayo. It's like the glue that holds all the ingredients together. And then we have a little bit of garlic powder, just a small amount. And then I just kind of like to mix it all up so that all the sauce kind of has the heat of the chipotle peppers in there. Okay, and then we are going to add diced green chilies. I prefer to buy them in the can whole and then chop them up later. That way you can control the seeds and the skins that sometimes gets left behind when you buy them pre-chopped. And you can drain them as well. So there's the green chilies. Now we're gonna add the corn. This is frozen corn. Frozen corn's awesome because you can really get sweet corn, which helps. In the summertime, we love to use fresh corn for this. And if you're using fresh corn, you'll wanna um, cook it for just a minute, just kinda blanch it. And then we're using grated cheese. Um, this is like the Fiesta mix, so it has like Monterey Jack mixed with cheddar and a couple others. So now you're just gonna mix this all together and you want it just to be evenly coated with the mayo. Okay, here we are. We have everything mixed together and we're just gonna dump it into this serving dish and it will bake just inside of this dish. Um, it only bakes for 20 minutes, so it's the kind of thing where you can have it pre-mixed, ready to go in your fridge, and then it's ready for when you're ready to serve it. You just have to bake it. Okay, so now we're gonna bake it for 20 minutes and then we'll bring it out bubbling hot. Okay, we just got the hot corn dip out of the oven. It's nice and hot and we're just gonna add um, some of this to garnish. We've got chopped tomatoes, little green onion, and cilantro. And I just kind of like add it to just like one side, and then that way they can choose how much of that stuff they want to add when they dip in. So there it is. I like to serve it with chips, and it's so good hot out of the oven, and it has a little spicy kick with the chipotle peppers. So you guys will have to try it. It's so good. We hope you love this recipe as much as we do. For this recipe and more, visit my site, nobiggie.net.